I think it's okay. It really does float though. I am Carson Hardy and today you are looking at something very special. Now in front of me are four parts and these four parts make one underwater housing that will be able to go down to 30 feet. And I'm pretty excited about it. I'm giving it my first impression. Now this was not a paid sponsor. Recently I've had the opportunity to actually use this for client shoots. I've put on the case about three times now and after getting a hang of it, I would say you can get it down to um, about five minutes or less. It's really simple to assemble this. It's actually only four parts and what you're gonna have first is this Altex casing. It is see-through so you can kind of you know see all your dials and pretty much because of its material it's super stretchy and it's very rugged and then you're going to need this back piece right here. This is pretty important because you can actually see your like display and all your information and it's it's honestly I would say a necessity now you do have to get the pro kit for it but I would say it's 100% worth it next we've got this front glass that's gonna go on the front of the camera and I actually went for a very big one that way I could throw on a myriad of lenses and I just adapt straight to it and this is what's actually gonna be sealing it so you can use your own adapters so that's always good news so it works for all types of cameras and that's the thing I like about it because for me I kind of change cameras I've got two right now but my girlfriend she likes underwater stuff too so it's just great to be able to change out your camera um, for only a few hundred dollars and finally I made sure to buy everything separately because I wanted my first time to have this piece right here and what that is is a tripod adapter you're not gonna get that standard with the housing so you do have to buy everything by parts and I could even put down below what parts I bought in order to make sure you get the right fit but really it's just these four simple parts I opted for the tripod adapter because I always like rigging things up and I like to have that option now if you do decide to get the tripod adapter you are going to be spending a little bit more time in assembly instead of going out in the water since I have two cameras I pretty much just dedicate one to go in this housing because it does take a little bit of time but like I said once you do it a few times you do get much much quicker I feel like I always need to be recording yeah. and just aim a lot of hip fire is involved in this I think I've cut the time down three times and I'm sure I'll even get faster than that another great thing about this product is that it's very portable all this squished up I can really just fit it anywhere in my camera bag even on like a side pocket even if I wanted to I actually plan on bringing this on a future trip let's go ahead and look at some initial footage I got day one with the Altex when you're looking at this footage bear in mind it was a very humid day also I don't believe I was cleaning my lens nearly enough In that inlet water, it tends to get a little messy, so I would definitely recommend you bring wipes with you if you want to ensure the best quality. Now we got to see a lot of interesting stuff while kayaking, and I'm very excited that I was able to actually capture it with something more than a GoPro. I liked having my 24 to 70 in here; it fit perfect, and because. I had my 24 to 70 and my EOS R. I was able to get nice long shots of these animals and wildlife, and that's just something I couldn't get before. I would really say this is a next step towards a big move. So I really appreciate Altex for making a product like this. It's very convenient, and like I said, 
I had a lot of fun. All right, time for the test you have all been waiting for. Whenever we got to the pull shots, this was the real fun stuff. Well, besides almost breaking Breeze GoPro, now we have clear water. These are the photos you've been waiting for and the footage I've been wanting myself. Everything seems durable, and I like that this is actually glass, not acrylic. Now, I used my EOS R, which is pretty good at focusing, but if I was even using this R5, I'm sure it would be phenomenal. I wasn't having too many issues underwater with focusing. There was even a few times whenever I was using manual focus, believe it or not. Now you're probably wondering why would I use manual focus, especially with this casing? And that's simply because I like control. And I mean that because if you're taking an underwater shot that's half in, half out, your focus could go anywhere. So to ensure I was correct in my kayak, I just simply focused on the subject, maintained distance while I turned off manual focus, dipped it in, and took my photos. Hello? Are you still here? Wow, that really means a lot. Now, here's an idea. You already made it this far. Go ahead, go down below, hit that like button, and hit the subscribe. That's how I see more people like you. So, what do you think? Just take that little extra step. I know you got it in you. And until next time, see y'all in the next video. Peace. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I'm here with Bree. Say, <laughs> say hi. Hi, maybe. <laughs> Hello. This is Bree. This is Coffee. Saw it. Yep. We made a whole loop. We're back over there. I don't know if you can see the truck. Probably not. Um, if we go that way, we have to worry about tides. But right in front of us is also a sand. So I think we're gonna go back that way where we came. I'm gonna try to go to that tailboat. We're learning. Protection first. <laughs>